In 2020, the year where everybody and their newly adopted rescue dog started cooking up a storm, Ree Drummond, aka the Pioneer Woman, decided she'd keep on cooking, undeterred by the opinions of her haters and food snobs, and she released a bunch of recipes throughout the year. Heavy on the comfort food, of course. Never let it be said that Drummond's not in tune with the zeitgeist. Plus, comfort food's always been her thing anyway. Well, apart from banana bread, that is, since she hates that fruit. The Pioneer Woman website did a countdown of Drummond's most popular 2020 recipes, and these included such basic yet classic dishes as mac and cheese. Hers uses a whole pound of cheese and half a stick of butter. Chicken salad, she uses green grapes, sliced almonds, and fresh dill and chicken pot pie, as well as a Thanksgiving turkey. Roasted, not fried. Drummond's most popular recipe for the entire year, however, was something she called Crash Hot Potatoes. These crash not mashed or even smashed potatoes are, as Drummond tells us, a recipe that comes from a friend of hers in Australia. While Drummond wouldn't be likely to base a meal around veggies, she describes these potatoes as one of her favorite side dishes to serve with big ol' hunks of beef as well as a nice alternative to the tired old baked potato. How you make them is, you first boil up some small potatoes and then arrange them on an oiled baking sheet where you crush them with the potato mashed in a crisscross pattern, much as you do with a fork when making peanut butter cookies. You wind up with flattened, rich potato patties, which you then drizzle with olive oil, sprinkle with salt, pepper, chop fresh herbs like rosemary and parmesan before baking at 450 degrees for 20 plus minutes. As to why these potatoes were the most popular pick from the Pioneer Woman website, well, they sound tasty enough if a bit on the plain side. They are a bit more healthy than the usual drum and potatoes, which are a bit heavy on the dairy, to say the least. Thanksgiving is, of course, a busy time of year for the Pioneer Woman, so busy that she even endorses using frozen dinner rolls as long as you enhance them with a lot of butter, salt, and herbs. But she does take some time with her turkey. While her roast turkey recipe itself came in at number 13 for the year, the surprise second-place finisher was the apple cider-enhanced brine in which to soak it. For some reason, these actually counted as two separate recipes. The brine itself, which involves adding a few cups of cider as well as salt, brown sugar, quite a lot, two cups, peppercorns, bay leaves, garlic, rosemary, and orange peel to several gallons of water, takes just 25 minutes to prepare. But you'll need to soak the turkey in this solution for 16 to 24 hours. Of course, the hard part about brining is finding sufficient space to house the soaking turkey. But if you live on almost half a million acres like Drummond, you've probably got entire outbuildings to spare, so you could have your pick of brining rooms. While the top two spots were taken by a side dish and a what would you call brine? A pre-condiment? Respectively, the number three spot was occupied by something that actually deserves a starring role. Chocolate pie. This is, again, a very simple dish. Basically, chocolate pudding in a crust. While Drummond does have a perfect pie crust recipe, which came in at number nine, she says you can use an easy-to-make Oreo or graham cracker crust, and the photo on her site does seem to depict a crumb crust. The pudding, however, isn't the jello kind. Instead, Drummond makes the from-scratch kind with bittersweet chocolate, sugar, milk, egg yolks, butter, salt, and vanilla thickened with cornstarch. Not too tricky, except as regards to the cooking. Since any time when you're heating milk to the point where it thickens, you have to be careful it doesn't scorch. Drummond describes this dessert as, Just good old basic can't go wrong, everyone loves it, super easy to make, been around forever, chocolate pie. And my beloved could seriously eat a slice every day of his life and never get bored. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite foods, chef, and more are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.